Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video. Today we're talking Only Murders in the Building, the new Hulu show that debuted about last week, I think now. I covered the first three episodes. I told you guys my thoughts in another video. Today we're talking about episode four. We're going to recap everything. We're going to go through the whole episode. and We're going to talk about it after, give you guys my thoughts. Uh, if you guys like keeping up all the new TV shows, all the new movies, please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe. We talk about all this stuff here. But uh, let's get into episode four. I think it's called The Sting. So this episode obviously starts out where we left off in the last episode. Oliver's dog got poisoned. He suspects it's the, uh, Sting, the lead singer of The Police, the famous band that lives in their building. So Oliver tells Charles and Mabel about Sting and how he suspects that he's the killer who killed Tim Kono. Mabel is able to do some like, more research into it and she discovers that Tim Kono actually worked for Sting and actually lost him millions of dollars recently. This is obviously a red flag and an obvious, obvious motive for Sting to go and kill Tim Kono. So they feel like they obviously have their killer now. But they feel like it's a little bit too much for them, so they decided to go to a famous podcaster, Cinda Canning, I think is her name, played by the great Tina Fey, who we all know from SNL and all of her comedy movies that she's been in now. And um, so not much happens in this conversation. It's kind of just revealed that uh, Cinda Canning's being bought for like $30 million. She's going to go into like another uh, company or whatever. And she kind of gives them the, the line of embrace the mess, which is kind of like just used throughout the episode. But other than that, not too much happens here. From here, we go into the romance with Charles and Jan, who's played by Amy Ryan. Uh, I really like Amy Ryan. I think she's a really good actor. I just watched her in another movie recently called Worth. Uh, so I like seeing her portrayed in this episode. Uh, we have like this weird like rear window scene where she's playing the bassoon from her window. So Steve Martin's character, Charles, like goes out to his window, gets his accordion, I think it's called, right? And they both kind of play tunes to each other. Uh, this leads to like, them going on a first date. So they go on a first date. Uh, Jan kind of like reveals all this baggage to him, uh, kind of says like, okay, I give you my story, now give me your story. Charles isn't comfortable with saying his stories yet, you know, he doesn't want to like unleash like all his baggage and demons onto her yet. So he kind of like just it, like says no and this leads to like, a whole bad, you know, first date. So after this whole like romantic scenes, we get put back into the mystery. We have our three main characters go and visit Sting with a turkey, kind of having this excuse that they're bringing turkeys to all the different neighbors, you know, just some excuse to go and visit Sting to question him. So they kind of like question him a little bit and Sting reveals he has like this big exclamation where he's like, I killed Timmy, Tim Conan, you know, I'm the one that killed him, blah, blah, blah. And so it's obviously like right away we know like there's something else behind this. Uh, he reveals that he fired Tim Kono because he lost the millions from earlier, right, that we found out. And he thinks that the firing is what led Tim Kono to kill himself. So he blames himself. Uh, the three main characters tell Sting that they think he was actually murdered. This kind of like gives Sting like a breath off his shoulder or what's it called like a like a weight off his shoulder you know now because he was really guilty about it uh so now this kind of like just crosses sting off of the list after this charles goes back to jan kind of unleashes all of his demons tells her his whole story lets everything out uh and while he does this throughout the episode he's been seeing these looney tune characters bugs bunny and porky the pig and like mascot like uniforms like he's been seeing them and he like, and we didn't know what this was. At first, I thought it connected to his daughter. I was like, oh, maybe Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig was, like, characters she used to love as a kid or, you know, just, you know, her favorite toy or something like that. That's what I thought. It's revealed that it's, like, from his past. It was, like, some story with his family and how he stayed in the cruise without them. And so he's, like, haunted by Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig mascots. And so, like, after he tells Jan the stories, they kind of disappear, you know, symbolizing that those demons are no longer with him. So he obviously released all of his baggage onto Jan. This is exactly what Jan wanted. So this will lead, they both agree to, like, a second date. So now, at the ending, this is where it gets interesting. Selena Gomez uh, is doing some research. She goes and finds this, like, diamond distributor website, which she thinks is another lead. So she's going to go and investigate that, you know, continue that lead. Uh, Oliver and Charles are together. Oliver's son comes in, asks about the podcast. And he announces that he knows who Mabel is, which is Selena Gomez's character. And he reveals that Mabel knew Tim Conan, which we already figured out at the end of episode one. But now Charles and Oliver now know. And he also reveals that one of the friends got pushed off a building. So now Oliver kind of has this look at that to Charles. And they kind of it looks like they're going to maybe investigate Mabel without her knowing. That's where I think the next episode is going to be at. Maybe the title will be Mabel or something like that. So it looks like Charles and Oliver will now look into Mabel. And then we cut to uh, Mabel is walking down the street and the tie-dye guy is following her, which is, I think we only saw him in the first episode. I think when the fire drill was happening, Steve Martin was going down the stairs and we saw the tie-dye guy going up the stairs. So it looks like maybe he's the one that, you know, at least the show wants the audience to think that he's the one that actually is the real murderer. 
but I'm not sure yet. It could be just a throw off for us. I'm not really sure. And then sort of the last scene for this episode is Cindy Canning, the famous podcaster who we saw earlier, Tina Fey. It looks like she's like stealing the idea of their podcast. She just says this whole like this whole thing and then it ends with her saying, all right, and that's only murders in the building, which is the name of their podcast. So maybe like she thought it was a really good idea what they were saying to her and now she's deciding just to like steal it. So we'll see where that goes, you know, what that plays into all this. I don't know how that's going to play into everything. But um, my thoughts on the episode were that I think it was decent. I'll give you guys my rating right now. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I think the ending really helped it. Uh, but I think just because I think we all knew that Sting wasn't the guy, obviously, you know, it's like our first suspect. So like everything with Sting in this episode, I just couldn't really get myself fully engaged because I knew that most of it was sort of like BS or like we knew Sting wasn't going to be the killer. You know, we, we all knew that, you know, so some cool revelations about Tim Kona working for him. Like, yeah, it's interesting. But uh, I think this whole episode is just to like give us like, a cool little thing about Sting, you know. Uh, but now I think a lot of us have these theories about Mabel and how she could actually maybe be the killer, but I don't think so because in the first shot, in the first episode, we see her with the blood on it. And she says it's not what it looks like. So I don't think she's the killer, obviously, but I think that's going to be confirmed next episode. I think the whole next episode will be Oliver and Charles maybe going into Mabel without her knowing. Then maybe at the end, Mabel figures it out, kind of spills all of her beans, and we can check her off the suspect list as not being someone that killed Tim Kono. The other half of the episode was also filled with Charles, like hallucinations with the mascots and his whole relationship with Jan. I thought it was fun, the whole relationship stuff. I thought it was, it was cute, it was, it was fine. It wasn't anything too great though. Again, I wasn't really engaged. So I think this is the weakest episode that we've gotten so far. I think the first three were all, like, all good. I think I rated them all like a 3.6 out of 5. So this one's not, you know, it's not a bad episode at all. I think the other ones are just a little bit more engaging, a little bit more interesting. But the ending of this is really cool. I'm excited to see how we get into more Mabel's backstory. Definitely with the next episode, I think we're definitely going to see that. The whole tie-dye guy episode, I mean, tie-dye character, um, I think he's a throw-off for us. I don't think he's the killer. I don't think he's the main, you know, killer of this whole show. Um, the fact that he's following Mabel, maybe he's like the old friend from the past. I'm not sure. But I think next episode will confirm that he's just... He's just a guy. I don't think he's a killer. I think he's fine. He, he probably knows Mabel, and he's probably like a nice dude. I don't think he's a killer or anything like that. I think that was just a throw-off. Uh, but that's just my theory. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Let me know if you have any cool theories, what's going to happen, you know, who's the killer. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like it. Please make sure to subscribe so we can talk about next week's episode together. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.